What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? How you doing today? Hey, you guys, it's Skinny Boy Randy here. Hi, how you doing? What's going on, you guys? How you doing? Mwah! I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having a great, growing, blessed, and prosperous day. Thank you so much for being here. You could be anywhere in the Garden Universe, but you choose to spend a little time with your skinny boy, Randy, and I greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here from the bottom of my heart. And if nobody told you they love you today, I do. <laughs> skinny boy, Randy loves you. Okay, okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome. I love having you guys here. Thank you so much. Um, also, click that like and subscribe if you're new. Yeah, that big red box. <laughs> click that. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down. Just not the two middle fingers, okay? Okay, I love you guys. Also, click that bell. You'll get a notification every time I make a video. And you can also leave a comment, share it with all your social media, check me out on Instagram and Twitter, and also head on over to my Facebook group. One of the best groups on Facebook for gardening, you guys. Gardening with Skinny Boy, Randy, beginners and experts are welcome. That's the name of the Facebook group as well. Head on over there. If I can't answer a question right here, you're going to get an answer over there. I guarantee you, okay? Because somebody's going through what you're going through. How you doing today? Hey, you guys, I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys. I know it's getting colder and colder and colder. Uh, we're here in Zone 7 in Richmond, Virginia. Wherever you are, I'm quite sure winter is approaching your way, some shape, form, or fashion. So we have to do a little different gardening. Um, you know, do things a little differently. So today I'm just going to show you how to make an easy cold frame for your raised bed so you can keep growing your lettuces and your greens and whatever else you want to grow in your raised bed all winter long. Okay, so let's just dive right into the video. The good thing about this, you guys, we ain't got no money. Okay, so we're just going to use four red cups. These four little legs that I took off the table that I got out of the garage. Love cleaning out the garage. Always can find something. Don't throw nothing away. Some duct tape. And a $3 shower curtain. Okay, okay. Now this is a shower curtain liner. It's clear. Well, it's opaque. And it's uh, mildew resistant. It's chlorine free and eco friendly. And it's rust proof. So all I'm going to do is use this. You guys use what you have. If you can just find you a clear uh, shower curtain liner. That's all it takes. You know. We ain't got no money to be going out here buying no cold frame. Because I ain't got no money. So all I'm going to do is take. First. Open it up. And see what we're working with. And let's try and measure her. Let's see how far it goes. Okay. Yeah. So if you have to use two of them, you guys, just use two. But just for the uh, video sake, I'm just going to show you how to do it with one. Because I really don't want to cover that stuff up down there on the end. There are my cold hardy, uh, cold robbies and stuff. So we're going to leave those blank. But all I'm going to do is take pole, stick down in my soil, around the corners of my raised bed. Get them down in there like that. And I want to stop it right here. I don't want to cover these. So actually, it's perfect size for what we're using it for. And I'm going to go down in the dirt here. Hopefully, they're about the same height. <laughs> and then I'm just going to go around and place one here. So you guys, I just went around and put those four little pieces of uh, legging off of the table on there. Now, to keep the plastic from ripping, we're just going to get our four cups and put one on each little pole. Okay? Okay! Then I'm just going to take it and go over. Actually, this is perfect size, you guys, for what I need it for. Thank you, God, for the perfect size plastic. Now, all I'm going to do is take my duct tape because I want to be able to access this, you guys. I just don't want it to fly away. <laughs> so I'm just going to take some duct tape and put it down the sides. Just like that. I'm 
gonna put another piece down here on this side. Put a piece here. It's like wrapping a Christmas gift, you guys. Then I'm just gonna come around and put another piece of tape here. So you get the idea, you guys. And that's all um, a cold frame is. Now I would, um, you know, seal this all the way around, but I wanna be able to access it. So I'm gonna uh, leave a little opening so I can lift this up like this corner here. So don't secure your corner here and your corner over there. You can secure everything else because you want to be able to fertilize and get to your plants. But that's all you got to do. And what this will do in the daytime when it's cold and the sun is shining, it's going to reflect in here and it's going to make it warm inside. And that'll help your plants continue to grow. We even got some radishes coming up over here. See that red? Yeah. So that's all you do, you guys. Take what you have and make it work. Because we ain't got no money. Okay, okay. So get you a clear shower curtain. Secure yours how you want to secure yours. I'm going to go around and tighten mine's up. But that's all you want to do to make an easy, quick cold frame. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And now I got to get off my knees and turn the camera off. <laughs>